Welcome to the instructional training video that will introduce you to your new Flowcam 8100 particle analysis system. Over the course of the next few minutes, we will cover some important information you will need to know for unpacking, setting up, and starting to use your new imaging analyzer. The first thing to prepare will be the space where the 8100 will be used. The instrument will require a clean, strong, and sturdy base able to hold up to 100 pounds. You will want the instrument to be used in an area that is free of vibration and dramatic shifts. It is also important to use a well-ventilated area, especially if volatile chemicals or solvents will be used. It is recommended that you use a stable power supply with surge protection and battery backup as well. Once you have your lab space prepared, begin by opening the packing crate for the Flowcam 8100. Ensure that there is no damage to the packing materials or equipment inside. Start by removing the filling material and 8100 accessory boxes. Be sure to keep all the packing boxes and materials in case you need to ship your Flowcam back to Fluid Imaging Technologies. Next, you will remove the Flowcam 8100. When lifting the 8100 out of the crate, we recommend using two people because it could weigh in excess of 50 pounds, depending on the model and type of 8100 you purchased. Place the 8100 on your prepared lab space. Continue to unpack and inventory the rest of the accessories from the various boxes and cases. Your new shipment should contain at least a monitor and power cords, keyboard and mouse, a flow cell to install, various fluid bottles with the associated tubing, and a syringe for pulling the sample. The computer accessories, power cords, flow cell in the holder, as well as some sample pipette tips will be located in the accessory box. The fluid bottles and syringe will already be located in the instrument. If you suspect anything has been damaged or is missing, please contact Fluid Imaging Technologies or your local distribution representative right away. Start by plugging the keyboard, mouse, and monitor connection into the back of the 8100 as shown here. Then plug the monitor into a power outlet. Next, locate the power cord for the 8100 and plug it into the back of the machine as shown. Then plug the cord into a power outlet. Once the machine has received power, you will hear the internal fan turn on. Now that the system is set up on the bench and all connections are in place, you can power on your Flowcam 8100. To do this, press the round power button in the top panel of the instrument. This will cause the pump and computer to initialize, and you will see the boot up process begin on the monitor of the 8100. After a few moments, the system will load into the Windows desktop where you will have access to the computer that is built into the 8100. Visual Spreadsheet is the program that will operate the 8100, which we will cover later on. Next, you will need to set up the 8100's internal hardware. Begin by opening the upper hatch and lower door on the instrument. Inspect all of the tubing connections to ensure they are in place and secure. Check the inlets from the rinse and cleanser bottles into the system, as well as the waste tubing connection directly from the pump to the waste container. There is also one connection tube from the internal portion of the system to the top of the flow cell apparatus that needs to be checked. Once all connections are secured and in place, fill the appropriate bottles with the corresponding rinse and cleaning solutions you would like to use with your first sample. Keep in mind that the cleaning bottle should be filled with a more aggressive solvent for removing remaining particles in the system, and the rinse bottle should be filled with the final solution that will go through the system before more samples are introduced. In many cases, this will be water or buffer that you use to produce your sample or something similar. Next, you will need to set up the flow cell and associate connections. First, take the flow cell out of the protective packing and inspect it for any damage. Clean the outside glass of the flow cell with a piece of lens paper or low residue wipe to remove any outer particles or fingerprints. Look closely at the flow cell and you will notice that the two cross sections of appearance are different. From one side you will be looking at the width of the flow cell and the other side you will be seeing the depth of the flow cell, both of which may vary. When you are installing the flow cell, look directly at the glass portion and you should see two thin lines which correspond to the internal edges of the glass flow cell chamber. If you see one thin line, it is installed incorrectly. Remove the piece of tubing connected directly to the lower portion of the sample introduction port. Attach the opposite end of the tubing to the end of the flow cell fixture with the stainless fitting only. Once properly tightened, you should hear a click.
The end with the tube fitting should be pointed downward. Resecure the upper portion of the tubing connected to the top of the flow cell fixture to the bottom portion of the sample port until you hear a click. Push the tubing portion securely back into the fluid position sensor. Next, place the black magnet holder into the slot so that the flow cell is held into place. It's very important to tighten the knobs until the head of each screw touches the flow cell holder. Place the tubing coming from the top of the syringe valve over the barbed fitting on the bottom of the flow cell. You are now ready to do your final hardware checks before focusing the instrument. Ensure that the syringe is tightly secured into the pump. Note that if you need to take out and resecure the syringe, you can access the Change Syringe feature under Setup Pump in Visual Spreadsheet. Make sure the tubing above the flow cell is pushed securely into the fluid position sensor port so that the starting and ending sample meniscus is read properly during analysis. Now you are ready to focus the flow cell in preparation for analyzing samples. To focus, you will need the fluid imaging focusing standard, other bead standards, or even the sample you will be analyzing. Begin by launching the Visual Spreadsheet software, then accessing the Setup menu and selecting Setup and Focus. This will open a live view of the camera window. You will now be able to see parts of the flow cell. Make sure you have the flow cell installed correctly and are viewing the width of the flow channel and not the depth. To begin the focusing process, align the flow cell vertically with the red acceptable region lines. The flow cell can be moved left and right and also up and down using the two separate turn knobs located to the left of the flow cell assembly. Loosen the larger control wrench, which will allow you to adjust the XY position knobs and move the flow cell to the appropriate area. Retighten the control wrench if necessary. Once the flow cell has been positioned correctly, pipette at least a half a mil of focusing sample and place into the system as shown here. Note that the pipette you use should be inserted right into the sample introduction port and left there using a pipetter that has an appropriate ejector. When leaving the sample tip in the system, make sure you apply some pressure to ensure the tip is securely in the port to prevent air from improperly being drawn into the system. Using the pump control menu that opened with the setup and focus screen, input a flow rate, set it, and then draw the sample down into visual view on the camera screen by pressing the start button. Note that the pause button will stop the current flow. For manually focusing the system, turn the micrometer either clockwise or counterclockwise until you see the edges of the particles come into clear focus. You will need a sample concentrated enough in the camera window to ensure you are focusing the majority of the particles to an optimum, consistent level. After an optimum focus level has been achieved, the system should be flushed to remove any leftover focus particles. This can be achieved either manually by adding some cleanser in a new tip in the introduction port and utilizing the manual pump control in the setup and focus window, or by closing the setup window and utilizing the clean and rinse features located under setup pump. With the pump options open, you can select the number of rinse or rinse clean cycles you would like to manually initiate or have performed when the run is over. This can be set by checking the appropriate box. Please note that if the system is performing the rinse and clean cycles for you, that you cannot run the clean system function without also running the rinse system function. The solution from the rinse bottle will be the last to come in contact with the flow cell before analyzing the first or next sample after the flow cell is flushed with the automated sequence. Now that the Flowcam 8100 is focused and rinsed, you are ready to analyze your first sample. Before starting, set your context settings, which are the acquisition settings of the Flowcam 8100. Please refer to the Flowcam manual or the context settings video for further explanation on each of these settings. Once you have your context settings in place, pipette and insert the appropriate sample volume into the system, detaching and leaving the pipette tip in the sample introduction port as previously done during focusing. Once the sample has been inserted, click on the Auto Image option in Visual Spreadsheet. Once you verify your stop conditions and add any applicable notes, click OK and save the sample, naming it and placing it into the appropriate directory within Windows. The camera window will then open and the calibration of the background will begin after the system primes the sample down into the flow cell. The fluid position sensor will be able to detect the leading and trailing meniscus of the sample, thus determining when is the proper time to begin and end the analysis. You have now successfully set up and analyzed a sample with the Flowcam 8100. Please refer to our additional videos which cover other important topics within the Visual Spreadsheet software and for exporting data. If you have any further questions about operating your Flowcam 8100, please review your owner's manual or contact Fluid Imaging Technologies.